panic as earthquake rocks New Zealand. Italy blocks Australia's AstraZeneca doses. And Megan says more as Philip undergoes heart surgery. Hi, I'm CJ with your Friday Skinny. New Zealand's northeast has been rattled by a series of powerful earthquakes triggering tsunami warnings and evacuations. Residents on the east coast were told to move to higher ground as wave surges hit areas like Tokomaru Bay and even Norfolk Island. The Australian Joint Tsunami Warning Centre's assessment indicated a potential threat to Australia's offshore islands and a tsunami watch was issued for Norfolk Island for the potential of coastal impacts. Another promo video for Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah has dropped where Meghan accuses Buckingham Palace of perpetuating falsehoods. It comes as staffers are getting their stories heard about alleged bullying by the Duchess. Prince Philip underwent a heart operation amidst the drama. I don't know how they could expect that after all of this time, we would still just be silent if there is an active role that the firm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods about us. There's a lot that's been lost already. The AstraZeneca vaccine is rolling out across the country with a South Australian doctor the first to receive it. Italy has blocked the shipping of 250,000 doses meant to be bound for Australia, saying Australia is not vulnerable at this point. We are still working and still expect to get those other 3.8 million and we may yet get more in coming weeks and if we get some more in coming weeks we will obviously ramp up the pre-local production release phase. The mystery over the death of Sydney woman Melissa Caddick has deepened with police hunting four artworks missing from her home. She also paid for luxury jewellery she never collected. Police have resumed a search in Sydney waters after her foot washed up on a beach south of there. Car manufacturers have completed 99% of the Takata airbag recall, the biggest vehicle recall in Australian history. More than 3 million vehicles had the faulty airbags, which caused 350 serious injuries and 33 deaths. And Sydney is gearing up to host Mardi Gras this weekend, including our frontline emergency services. This year, the event will be replaced by a ticketed COVID safe event within the Sydney Cricket Stadium. More than 30,000 people are expected to attend. For more, visit network11.tv.